Prometheus 82. Maybe you've heard the name, maybe not. And if not, that changes today. This is one of the most important measurement tools ever made for gamers, not just us, but especially us. And my mission to show you what the P82 is and more importantly, the mind behind it. Now, full disclosure, this isn't a review. The unit was sent to me, but I made this video on my own. No deal, no sponsorship. Just me wanting to highlight someone I believe is a real unsung hero for gaming tech, John Punch. Who is John Punch and why should you care? If you've ever watched a controller video with data graph or latency charts, chances are one of his tools was used. Prometheus 82 is just his latest. He's built things like the GPDL tester, pulling rate tester, joystick tester, and of course, Gamepadla, the site that aggregates user submitted data. This data doesn't just sit around. It's forcing companies to up their games. Goalie Kid, Gamesur, and others have literally improved their products because of his findings. Latency too high, pulling rate inconsistent, John's data proves it, and suddenly brands take notice. That's impactful. And honestly, without him, creators like me or people you probably watch like VCuda, Gamers Heaven, or VK's channel wouldn't be able to provide the same level of detail. So John and Anna Punch too, thank you, truly. Now let's talk about the Prometheus 82 itself. It's not complicated and that's the beauty of it. First, the hole where you feed the controller wire if you're testing wired. Second, the clamp, it holds the controller in place. Third, you have the arm screws on each end. This is where the magic happens. Fourth, the solenoid, that little coil that actually does the pressing. It moves along an axis and can be adjusted and boom, you're ready. And fifth, the ports, one for data and one for power. And trust me, you'll need more than a weak USB 2.5 5 watt. Now, set your controller in, pick what you're testing, sticks or buttons, adjust the solenoid, connect your cables, and fire up the Prometheus app. And let it rip, quite literally. It's noisy, it's kind of slow, but once you're done, uh, your data gets uploaded to Gamepadla in a private instance, and there you go, you have a full string of tests for your controller. You do it multiple times, test different modes, buttons and sticks, and suddenly you're contributing to one of the most valuable gaming tech database out there. So what's the point? Well, controllers used to average around 10 milliseconds latency. Now, thanks to tools like this, we're seeing products hit under two milliseconds. My own P82 test showed the Razer Wolverine AK going below three milliseconds wireless on dongle, the fastest ever recorded. Goalie Kit, they literally collaborated with John to redesign their Bluetooth protocol, and now they've got the fastest Bluetooth controllers, have the latency of Sony's DualSense Edge. And this is how innovation happens. Transparent data pushes brands to do better, and we all win. So maybe you're thinking, how do I get involved? Two ways. Option one, buy a Prometheus 82 for 200 bucks, links in the description, or build your own with the guide on his GitHub. Option two, support creators like me who use these tools, watching, liking, and subscribing, it all matters. And now for the first time, you can even join the channel as a member. Here's why that matters. I want to use 100% of members profit until December 31st, 2025 to buy more P82 units from John. With two or even three, I could double my testing speeds and pump out data faster and better. But I want to be crystal clear. No video will ever be locked behind membership. No early access, no paywalls. My content stays free, period. Membership is just another way to give back if you want to. So that's the Prometheus 82, a simple tool with massive impact. I'll keep honing my craft, keep testing, keep sharing, and hopefully, thanks to John Punch and thanks to you, we'll all keep pushing gaming tech forward. I'm Clef, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.